Nazimi Sibanjo, Leaf and the Asa Rock were the president. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get a notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The Nigerian president official resident is the Asa Rock Presidential Villa. This means that Muhammad Buhari stays at the presidential villa in Asa Rock. Well, we also know that the Nigeria's vice president is also one of the country's most powerful leaders. Yemi Osibanjo has been Nigeria's vice president since 2015 and working alongside Buhari. He has achieved a lot. Well, according to a report, he has also joined the race to become Nigeria's next president in 2023. So this brings us to the question, does the vice president of the country also live on the Asa Rock? Well, the question to this answer is no. Osibanjo does not live in the presidential villa. The Akinola Guda House is where Nigerian Vice President General stays and it is his official residence. The Akinola Guda House was once the Nigerian President's official residence after Ibrahim Babaganda finished building the Asura Presidential Villa in Abuja. It was turned over to the Vice President. Of course, it also belongs to the government and it will be the residence of the next Vice President after Buhari Usibanjo's regime. Are you serious? Do you know that I am just actually finding out? I was thinking these people live together. No way. <laughs> no way. No way. So I'm trying to ask myself, okay, fine. Even if they're not living together, what is this article? Where exactly is this going to? I just trying to say, okay. Um, for people who will always come and say the press, the vice president, what has he done? He's not always around. Uncle, see, in my own opinion, he's the vice president of the country. I believe he he's expected to report to, you know, his presidential office. It does is they say he's his official resident? Is that also where his official office is? I would like to find out as well. If yes is the case, then I'll say, of course, I would want to believe that. There are times where him and the president have to come together, um, brainstorm on issues, think about issues, and of course, think about possible solutions. I want to believe so. So this idea of this is not where he lives, I don't think it's going to work. In my own opinion, if the man, you know, people are saying uh, some of the things, you know, that uh, this administration have actually done, he's not in support of the ones that are actually not good. And I'm saying he never made Nigerians to know or believe that he's not in support. There are many ways to, you know, to twist your word. If you are somebody who is an elite, you are illiterate, I want to believe that there are ways you can actually pass your information. And of course, if you have tried to make things right, like you're someone, since um, 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 domestic violence is, is, is not the talk of the day, let me use it as a scenario. If you've tried to make your marriage work, you've tried to do everything possible, and you know that a person making his or her marriage work is actually... It's not possible for just one person. It has to be coming from two persons. Let's say you have given your all to this marriage and, you know, there is still some things that is the same as if you're not doing your best. Auntie, instead of you to experience a burnout, if you leave, yes, they're going to judge you, but at least they'll say, this person left. This person left now. You leave, you leave with your sanity. You leave, you leave with your, okay, instead of me to... Let it now be something of, oh, you murdered your husband, your husband murdered you, and all of that. So, in that scenario, you're also going to remember it's better you leave. If you want to give an example, ah, that woman, you know, she left her marriage, you at least she's not a murderer, you know, and she has a sanity, you know, and, you know, her children, they don't get to see any side, or his children don't get to see any sign of, you know, him and his wife quarreling and fighting, and therefore raising damaged humans, okay? But well, this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.